Oh, welcome back to Den's MTB. Today we are uh, going actually just for a little road rash. The trails are still icy or muddy to uh, to ride on, so we're going to give them a rest. We're going to try out my Norco fluid that I put the gravel bike tires on and uh, see how that works. So here's the Norco fluid, and I got the uh, riding the Schwabi Big Apples that uh, I got them, put them on my aluminum rims and uh, had my old cassette. I might still have to uh, switch cassettes around a little bit, but uh, for now I'm running my old cassette. Uh, gonna use these tires for on the road and on the gravel, like I already said. And uh, Suspension wise, I got the rear stiffened up a little bit. I got the front uh, I'm gonna have to play with how much I shut it out. I want a bit of suspension to absorb some of the the road bumps but uh, There it is so uh, let's go for a ride and uh, see how it works All right, something's not right with the bike. Well, that was a short ride. You know what? I don't have that cassette on right. I can see the gap right from here. So, you know, as a do-it-yourselfer, I can honestly say, oops, I fucked up. All right, I'll have to see what I can do about fixing that. Thanks for watching for now. Have a good day. We are going to attempt to do this again, except this time we have the mountain bike tires on. Even though I'm not going on mountain bike, I want to go for a ride. So, <sighs> we're gonna do it with the mountain bike tires. We're wearing down, we're wearing down. In the meantime, I'll worry about getting a, a cassette. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, that hurt. So, you're probably wondering what the fuck happened there. I'm not wondering. You know, two weeks ago, I had a concussion. And I think I still have it, because I'm not thinking. Who the fuck replaces mountain bike tires? without 
<sighs> pumping up the brakes first. So when you go down a steep hill like that, I had no choice but to bail off the bike onto a pile of snow where I knew it would be the softest. So we're just going to go for a little toot here. I actually landed on my hip there pretty hard. The same hip that I kind of landed on when I when I wiped out two weeks ago. So we're just going to go for a little ride here. Oh, them brakes sound nice and awful. Perfect. I really got to sometime soon go for a mountain bike ride where I actually don't freaking fall. Kind of starting to find it annoying. So, that little, uh, that little quick jaunt that I did take with the, uh, with the gravel bike tires. I actually noticed a difference. A couple things I noticed. Number one, I noticed the speed difference on the road. And the second, second thing I noticed was the weight difference. Uh, those ones there, aluminum rims, running with tubes. I could feel the difference than my carbon rims that are running tubeless here. Uh, significant difference. But, the roll resistance was hugely less. So, I'm at a deciding factor here. What do I do? You know. Do I get a cassette and put it on that? I guess I got a half done. You know, I've been invested in a couple tires and tubes and time and I guess the thing is if I if I do a cassette and it still doesn't work, well the cassette can be used for the fluid for on these carbon rims. Uh yeah. Or do I just say enough of screwing around and save up and Or do I just ride this and the hell with it? You know, a lot of questions here and I, I don't know what the right answer is and What are your guys' thoughts? Not asking, looking for answers, and just looking for thoughts, you know. One reason I want to uh, road and gravel is being a bigger guy. I want to utilize gravel trails and more so gravel trails once they dry out to build my cardio endurance I don't have a uh, I don't have a fancy machine for nor do I have the room to set up a bike in my house. I 
was a nice steep hill. Supposed to start raining this afternoon. I rain tomorrow. So I thought it'd be a good day today to get out on the bike. We'll see how bad it's raining tomorrow. Whether I can squeeze a quick ride in tomorrow. Oh, there is a third thing I did know thinking about it that I didn't notice with the uh, the gravel bike tires is the gearing. It uh, because you're running a skinnier tire and that the gearing. You use the harder gears a lot more. Well, it looks like they're doing construction way up there, so we're not going up there. Something's going on up there. We'll tap out. We'll go down this way a little bit. the ass. Woo. Ooh, that's a little cold in the back.
Oh. Speed is not a must on this hill. Get in there. This is not our usual type of ride, um, and I hope to get on the trails uh, sooner than later. We'll see how this week uh, turns out for drying up and uh, and ice. Um, maybe I'll be able to get the gravel bike tires fixed. Maybe we'll do a uh, an actual gravel bike uh, ride, or just do a ride on the gravel bike trails. And in the meantime, the only time will tell. But in the meantime, you know, thank you for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. Um, I know I, uh, I'll have a video coming out with a new helmet I'll be getting and uh, the story behind that. So, again, thanks for watching and we will talk to you soon. All right.